is going on guys it's your boy cash and we are here finally in Yu-Gi-Oh! master duel and another card that i don't know what it is but i wanted to do it's finally here it, it uh it's funny because I, I had a prediction right i had a prediction that what would happen that they would release the release date today they would do their little duel video and then they would drop their release date. That's what I thought that they were going to do. But instead, they just said, you know what, let's just drop the entire game. Which was, a lot of people were, you know, it, it's been finished pretty much. The game is pretty much finished. So, uh, I just wanted to go over a few things that uh, a lot of people are covering. But I just wanted to let my people know, the, you know, a little bit different. So, first things first, this game is cross-saved. It's cross-platform. So what that means is that you can actually play this game on multiple platforms. Uh, if you have a PlayStation Plus account, an account with PlayStation Plus on it, uh, you actually get 50 packs, which I did add on to here. Um, where is it? A few moments later. And that's actually the perfect example. I'm like, I'm like actually looking for it. But whatever you buy, and I forgot about this too, and it's a good thing that I, I tried to find and I couldn't find it. Whatever you buy, guys, if you buy something on the Switch, like on the Switch store or whatever like that, like your gems or whatever like that, it's on that console. If you buy on your phone, once they release phone, it's going to be on your phone. If you buy something on the Steam, on the Steam, if you buy something on Steam, it's going to be on Steam. <laughs> so I bought the the uh, PlayStation Plus gets 50 free uh, card packs or, or pack tickets or whatever the heck they want to say it. But since I'm not on the PlayStation currently, I can't access that right now. So I have to utilize all that stuff and then come back to my account now what you want to do regardless is actually link all your accounts i do think that that's like the best thing to do you're going to go here to the sub menu and then you're going to go down here to data transfer and then uh, it's already going to tell me i'm linked but what happens here is it says it's going to say hey you need to uh, go to this website or click on here make a konami id once you make the konami id it will stay here on this screen and then it will transfer you to a website which you can i typed it in you can use it as a qr code and once your accounts are linked you're fine but that's kind of one of the things i personally i think the first thing you should do so don't go on to your switch buy a bunch of stuff make progress and then go on the PC, make progress, and then you're gonna link the accounts. At least to my knowledge, I feel like that might mess it up, but I don't know if it can actually backdate and make sure everything is right, but I feel just be safe. Make sure that you don't do anything on the other accounts. Immediately just link it because uh, what we know in mobile games, normally when you don't do that, you lose uh, data from one of the accounts and that might be the account that you got something good on and you're like, damn, I really wish that I didn't do that. Uh, next thing that I wanted to point out is the missions, uh, right? So missions are really important to us, uh, people that play these games that are very that are daily grinds, technically. And you definitely want to look at what are they asking you to do on a regular basis. Uh, usually they have daily grinds, weekly grinds, sometimes monthly grinds in these games. So as you can see, uh, dual you're gonna dual solo mode. You get some rewards there, and you can see boom complete. And that's something that I can do every day. It's something that you should be doing every day when you're playing this game to maximize what you're getting. Uh, see, I have to play three rank duels and I'll get 50 of these. I can play one rank duel, I'll get some of these. And that's something you're gonna wanna do every day. And what I like, oh, this one is, I hate these uh, when it says you have to win. I kinda like these, that you just have to participate in it and you'll get some type of reward. I don't like when you have to win because it, to me it forces a meta. That's when they get into the game, like, I need my rewards, man. I'm sorry, I have to play this broken deck. I like when you can play whatever you want and, and get rewarded for it. But this is the most important thing usually, is how do you get extra resources, this. And they also have unlimited missions, which is these are lifetime, pretty much that once you do it, you'll get these rewards. So these are things to look out for. As you can see, win a duel in solo mode, me just playing solo mode. Once I do win duel 70, uh, 70, 20 times, I'll keep getting these rewards. Obviously, there's a claim all button, but it's good to know what you can do. So if you're ever stuck on something or you want to actually achieve something, hey, go into a match, special summon a monster from the graveyard 3,000 times, and you can work towards that, you know? And I think that that's very important to... to Keep your eye on when you're trying to do certain stuff, and especially when you're in a drought and you're like, damn, I really need some resources. Let me go check the unlimited missions. I think that that's something that you can definitely keep an eye out for. Uh, that's those two things. Now, of course, you guys know the solo is where you get the loveliness of certain cards, the dual strategy, and then you can get other cards from doing these. These are like the solo mode. I'm just going to click on dual strategy just for a second. Uh, these give you gems as well. Does this tell you how many gems you got? Yeah, so look, you get gems for doing these. Loner means that it's going to be a fixed deck, and then when it says uh, start a deck, my deck, that means it's your deck that you can go into this challenge mode and actually do. 
And I think that that's pretty cool that you can do challenges with your own deck and it's not the loner deck. Though I also like when they force you to use a deck and put you in a weird, awkward scenario like the old uh, Legacy of the Duelist games where sometimes you'd have to play with someone else's deck, Yugi's deck at the time, Joey's deck at the time. But like I said in my last video, this game can, is looking to be more, less about the Yu-Gi-Oh! animated series, but more about the Yu-Gi-Oh! cards uh, when it comes to this other weird stuff. Like I said, there is the thing here with the duel live. I can watch a duel. Maybe we'll watch duels or commentate duels. That'd be pretty hype. I think I, I can make that pretty spicy if you ask me. Now, next is going to be the duel pass. Now, what I like about this duel pass is that... Uh, where is it? Does it... Where is... Where, hey, stop jiggling. It tells you somewhere. Here it is. What is the dual pass rewards? Here we go. Rewards is the most important thing. It costs 600 gems of these gems to do it, but you get it right back. So I like this and I hope they keep this up so that if you just keep, you can keep cycling and keep getting your dual pass every time it comes up. I think that that'd be fantastic. Uh, and you always get this. You're also going to get a pot of greed mate. So you have the pot of greed and it allows me to draw two cards, uh, you know, and then what is this? The uh, monster art as well for the Shadal, one of my favorite archetypes in the game. And yes, you're getting some other stuff. And I, I don't know about you guys, but I hate multiple currencies. The more currencies, it just drives me nuts. But, you know, you got your R, your UR, your SR, and those you gather those up and you can craft a certain card. And that's going to be more relevant once people establish a meta in the game. I don't think that this card game has every single card in Yu-Gi-Oh! existence. I think it's limited to a certain amount. But eventually people are going to make really good decks and people are going to net deck, which they do allow you to do here in this game. You can literally copy decks. I'm pretty sure people are going to have deck codes or they're going to put up a deck list and people are just going to copy that. You know, you're going to see it everywhere. Easy deck to climb, yada, yada, yada. It's going to be everywhere. You know it already is going to be. But... Again, just wanted to do a quick video, letting you, people know that the game is live, uh, if you are unaware. And, of course, let's see. Actually, let's... I, I kind of want to check this out. I kind of want to see what uh, spectating uh, is and see how, how fluid it is in the game. Because that's hype. Now, oh, this is just a random. I don't even get to choose. I mean, I could probably choose. But this is kind of what people want, right? So this person, Duelist, B Duelist, A, I don't even know who these people are. Or, honestly, you know what would be even cooler? Because, you know, time zones and maybe active and non-active. This could also be a duel that maybe the game is just generating for me to just watch in general. Um, or it could be a game... Oh, what the hell? Whoa. Oh, and I can clickies. I can click and actually, like, like look at stuff. Yeah, this is an old duel because I can actually pause it. Cool. So this is like the game being sped up and stuff like that. So I, th I think this is actually two people that played and the game just archived it somewhere so that I can sit here and pause. I can be like, damn son, what the hell is that? What the hell is that? Dogmatica. I don't even know this archetype. I can read all this stuff, which I'm not. Uh, but you know, it's cool that I could freeze this stuff. I can look in this guy's extra deck. I could see what, oh, this is actually dope. Ooh, ooh. Oh, look at that's shiny as hell. Uh, but this is actually a pretty cool feature. I, I like, especially when it's I, I wonder, obviously, there has to be one where you could probably watch live. Okay, this guy's doing some things. That's huge on Shook. Oh, Dystopia. I remember that from the series. I don't remember what it does, but hey, it's about to show me. It does that. That guy's highlighted this stuff in his hand. And uh, oh no, this probably counter it. What? Did you counter that? Watch. Oh, did you counter it and then summon yourself? And then, oh boy. Oh boy, it's heating up. It's heating up. I don't even know what's going on right now. Ooh, uh, Malicious comes back. Two going in. Fusion? No, Link Summon. What the hell? Extra Hero Cross Crusaders in the building. And then he's going to do that. The Malicious is going to come back. What is it? For like the eighth time? <laughs> oh, I guess you can keep doing that. Banishing it and then summoning it. It doesn't actually have a limit to it, right? Oh my god. Extra. Oh, this thing's. Oh my god, this car's so broken. It let it out. You let this card out? This car was banned for like 18,000 years. I'm surprised that it's out. Look at the chains, ladies and gentlemen. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> I'm so hyped. I don't even know technically what's going on. I don't even know where whose turn it is. Oh my god. Dude, look at that. You, what is this, a quick play? Oh, yeah, this guy. Bow. Put it down. Boom. Okay, how does this guy recover from this? He paid half his life points and has a stronger board. He lost... Use a bunch of cards. Harpy's Feather Duster. Good night, sir. But that's cool. I think that that's actually awesome. And since it does it in such a fast 
manner. Now I'm gonna just go into, I just wanna make sure that it's not like the same duel every time, uh, which I wanna do. I'm gonna immediately quit out of this, but I do wanna see if it's the same duel every time. Like maybe it's like a featured duel, which would be cool. Like imagine if you're the featured duel. That, I feel like that's both way cool, but then it would get old. So let's see if this is a completely different deck. It is, so now we're, got, we're seeing Cyber Dragons. Uh, like I said, I can check his extra deck. This is Super Cyber Dragon, Cyber Dragon Seeker. I don't even know what that is. What are you running? Oh, I can't see the other guy's deck. Interesting. So I only can see the deck of the person that I randomly pop into. Interesting. Uh, Nibis something? Okay. Like I said, I'm not gonna watch this. Uh, Mermail, oh boy, all right. We're just, you can expect to do this from around the world. You gotta heat class of rivals. You can receive missions war once a day by expect. Oh, so it's part of the mission. So now this should say something. I expected one full thing. I think it was somewhere. I, I don't remember exactly where it was. There it is, boom. Say, hey, do that once a day. Daily missions are really important for uh, games with resources. You have to do everything. You log on real quick, check, uh, do your dailies, and then, uh, of course, there's probably other rewards for actually playing and stuff like that. So, obviously, you got the dual mode. About the dual mode, we already know. Strongest duelist. Like I said, you have to win ranked. Dual room, gather your friends and get your game on. Uh, get your game on. I forgot who is that. Uh, Yuya. Uh, you can um, duel according to different rules. So yeah, we can make up rules. Events. Cool. So definitely not playing ranked. I, I barely have any cards. I still have to get this. Uh, another thing, lastly, that I want to talk about is actually going to be this. So as you guys know, they do have random packs. Uh, so this one, you can check what's in the packs as well, which is cool. Which obviously you're going to see a bunch of stuff here, a bunch of URs of SRs, and then you could actually sort see what you want. Now. Like I've said before, this is going to pretty much be based on the meta. Most people are going to look for a meta. Uh, not highly unlikely that people are going to be like, I'm just going to try this thing out and have no idea if it works or not. Most people are going to like try to target stuff out. So I do like that it's very easy, very concise, and you could literally find quickly what card you are. You can text search as well. So uh, they have these open packs. Now these are obviously RNG. Let me see if it actually gives you the odds. Yes, you can look at the odds here. Your odds of getting a UR, your odds of getting SR, R, and then an N. So you guys should know that. Be very aware of this stuff. And then you got normal pack, secret pack. Now secret pack, if, if I remember correctly, it actually tells you somewhere. I'm gonna get the dual pass. Actually, I'll get it right here. Why not? See, as you can see, boom, 600, done to that. I'm gonna pretty much get that back once I finish the entire dual pass. So there's no reason not to do that. Then they have these bundle deals where there's only one limit to one per player uh me, my co-worker we, we're all like hyped up about this game right now uh so these limit one per player so i think the thing here you could also see that it's you get a lot of cards there's a lot of urs in these packs by the way uh but what you can see here is that a special set uh includes 10 master packs and as you guys i if you haven't seen with the master pack the master pack is this other thing here uh this it, which is just saying, it has a lot of cards in it. It has a lot of cards in it, uh, 6,000 to be exact. So there's a lot of cards, so th th the odds of you getting something uh, in the doo-doo category is kinda, it's kinda, uh, kinda high. But you know, just, just the, that's what these packs are supposed to be for. Sorry, where is it again? I gotta find it, I gotta find it. Somebody help me. Where the hell is it? Bundle deal, there we go. Special bundle deal. All right, so cool. Let me go back to this. So yeah, you get this, a bonus UR card. So you're guaranteed to get a UR card from this, and uh, which is powerful, powerful negating effects, which add stuff, blah, 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 blah. That's the card's good. Why not add it to your deck and see what it could do for you? So pretty much you're opening one of those other packs, which are normally uh, 100. Hold on, let me let me get this right. So 10 master packs, right? How much is a master pack normally? So one, uh, 10 master packs is 1,000. So you're getting, uh, you're actually getting it at a reduced cost. So these are actually super worth it uh, based off what I just read, right? So 10 master packs, 10 master packs normally is actually going to be, is 1,000, right? But I, if I remember correctly, the master packs themselves though, like these actually only give you two cards at a time, if I'm not mistaken. Here we go. Each card pack contains eight cards. The eighth card will always be rare, or rarity R or higher, depending on the card you draw. A secret card pack may appear. When you draw a SR or UR card from card packs you purchase, or when you generate SR or UR cards, so when you craft, keep that in mind, you can keep these things open, uh, these secret packs open, by actually just crafting a card. So just keep that in mind as well. Uh, in addition, if you draw or generate the same corresponding card during the 
secret card pack, the remaining time will be extended because uh, to 24 hours. For example, if a card draw, uh, player draws a card corresponding to that pack within 20 hours, the remaining time will be reset to 24 hours. Secret card pack can also appear when you clear certain gold data. So, the, but hey, do you like this card? Go try to get it. To see the cards you can obtain from the pack, please check cards included in the pack obviously now the master pack i could have swore that you only get two cards i saw someone opening up a master pack you only get two cards like per so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna showcase uh that so you guys can just see it special bundle now solomon judgment is a really good card i like that card too but then again i think that these are still the best the best bang for your buck because there's 500 and that would technically be about five of those packs right but you're getting every single thing that you see here and based on certain cards, I would say, like you, like me, I got the Link thing, and I think Link and Pendulum, to me, are synergized really well with each other, because the ability to match it up, there doesn't even have any extra Links in here. But I think that those things match up pretty well. You do have to pick your structure deck in the beginning. So me, personally, I think that I'd rather get these two things first. Uh, maybe not so much this one. I don't... I don't Care too much about utopia it does have x uh xz's and xz's is pretty synergized with that too maybe i'll mix them up or something like that but i feel like you should be looking out for structure decks they'll probably be dropping more as it as the game goes out instead of just going into packs and hoping you get something and sometimes even when you get something you only got one thing and it didn't give you you know you didn't get too big of a boost of your account it's gonna claim all got me a nice fresh thousand claim all here got three thousand and some other crafting materials so now we're sitting mighty pretty now. Not not as scared or shook as we were before. So now I got a bonus pack. These are, oh no, these are not the secret pack, but I got a bonus pack. Oh, well, you know what? That's probably the other thing that I just got, right? A legacy pack, all the cards that you wanted. I have one of these cards included. So I think this is specifically for this. What are these cards for the love of God? <laughs> I don't know any of these cards. Oh, so there's 76 URs and then like, yeah, 400 SRs. I don't know. I'll just pop it. What, what's the worst? If I if, if I shouldn't have used this, then it, it is what it is. See, Master Duel. See, two cards. Just saying. The barrel behind the yo Chico. What up? Yes. See, look. Open that one pack, and I got that. So yeah, these. I think these are actually like two cards within a pack and I think the other ones are actually like regular I think that they're actually regular so now that I have a ton of more resources than that I'm just gonna get this as well I like pendulum so two times remaining so I guess like I could get this multiple times I can get it up to three times only reason why you would do that if you really wanted three copies of, of a certain card that's only one copy in this in this thing then you would do that that's how, why you would do that but most of the time probably not <laughs> But yeah, hopefully you guys make some good decisions. Just be careful. Uh, a lot of this stuff is FOMO. Uh, I've been trying to tell my friends as well, like uh, they're trying to tug you in certain ways. Let's look at how the game actually plays out. See, you know, what kind of things that they have in store, what kind of events they have in store, how much currencies will we be getting per event. I think that that's super important. And as soon as I can make a cool deck, I'll be putting up some decks or try to play online or duel or something like that. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. So yes, YFOs in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. It's finally here. It's finally here. Time to lose. Get some losses in. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.